The first thing I'm doing today is taking my face powder and my brush of choice which is the Sedona Lace EB09 brush. It's cheap and cheerful and performs really well. So I'm dusting some of that powder from my crease up to the brow bone avoiding the lid area. I just have some foundation on the eye area and I want to set that in place and I'm avoiding the lid because I'm going to prep that area with the cream base now. As you can see my base of choice is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Slate. It's a lovely dark grey shade and I'm applying the pencil directly on the lid. You don't need to be neat with this step because we'll be blending the pencil out anyway but I'm just starting out by applying it in at the lash line and then I'm working my way upwards. Stop applying product about halfway up the lid. You want to leave space for blending and the remaining half of the lid will be covered with product in that process. You just want to make sure that you keep the base solely to the lid and I'll explain why in a moment. The eyeshadow that I'm using today is one out of a palette I love so much. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone eyeshadow palette and I'm using the definer shade today. So I've picked up some of this shadow on the side of my blending brush and now I'm pressing the shadow on top of that eyeshadow base. By pressing the eyeshadow onto the lid it'll stick to the base and then you won't have any fallout. I cleaned off my brush slightly on a tissue, dipped it back into the eyeshadow and this time I'm using the tip to apply the eyeshadow into the crease and as you can see it's a different colour. The eyeshadow is a duochrome shadow and when it's applied on top of a dark base you'll get that gorgeous green shimmer and when it's applied without it'll appear as a rusty ready brown and that's why I've kept the base strictly to the lid. There's now depth to the look and it gives the illusion that we used more than just one eyeshadow. Now I've picked up some of my face powder again this time on a cotton bud and I'm using that to further soften the edges of the eyeshadow. If you blended the eyeshadow up too high towards the brow bone you could use the face powder like a rubber at this point to pull the shadow back down. In my last one brush video I showed you how to adapt your blending brush to apply product along the lower lash line. Alternatively you could just use a cotton bud, I'm sure almost everyone has some lying around in a bathroom press. I like to use the pointed ones from Superdrug because they allow me to apply makeup with precision. Once I've applied the eyeshadow down along the lower lash line, I'm using my fluffy blending brush again just to smoke out that lash line and I'm also making sure to connect the shadow on the corner of the eye just so that I've got that nice rounded appearance. Next I'm taking a black eyeliner and I'm running this along the upper lash line again. This doesn't need to be neat because we're going to smudge out that line now in a minute. And to do that I'm using my cotton bud again. So I'm going back in with my liner once I've completed that step and I'm repeating the process and I'm doing this a couple of times over just to get that nice smoky smouldering look to the eyes. Then I'm adding some lashes. I really like these ones by Kiss. They're layered so they look really nice and fluttery on the eyes but without being too much. So when I pop them in place then I'm reaching for my eyeliner once again and I'm lining my waterline this time. To finish off the look I'm adding some mascara and this one is kind of cool because it's double ended. You have a wand for the upper lashes which is thicker and then a wand for the lower lashes which is a small thin wand and yeah it's just really handy but then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up and a comment to let me know if you did and I'll chat to you all soon.